You're watching 18 News at 6. Many around the Twin Tiers are feeling restricted under quarantine, even anxious about the virus. The new normal might be difficult for some to adjust to. Local religious and faith leaders are reaching out to the community to offer their words of faith. Today comes to us from Father Scott Kavinsky. In a matter of weeks, COVID-19 has changed our world. At present, many of us feel that we have little control over our lives. In some ways, that's true. But in other ways, we do have control. We can choose to be people of hope. We can choose to listen to the authorities. We can choose to practice social distancing. We can choose to realize that, that life is far more than sports and entertainment, far more than parties and social gatherings. We've heard some uplifting stories of people who have chosen to assist their neighbors and others during this difficult time. A phone call or running an errand does make a difference. We can also choose to pay attention to the spiritual part of our humanness, which is just as real as the physical, intellectual, and emotional aspects of being human. Some people seem to think it's God's job to protect us from suffering. That's not God's job. We believe God has given us free will, and human choice sometimes causes suffering. God is with us in our suffering. God can strengthen us if we let God in. We can choose to pray for our medical staffs who are on the front lines. We can choose to pray for the scientists who work to develop treatments and vaccines. We can choose to pray for our leaders who have to make difficult decisions regarding local behavior. And especially we can pray for those individuals who have the virus and their families who suffer with them. And not without some fear about all this, but I choose to have hope because I believe we all have the potential for good, even in, especially in, moments of crisis.